most important steps when you're actually appearing for a job is the job interview, right? And when you actually research online, there are tons of facts and tons of myths, both about interviews that actually about. So there'll be interview experiences where, you know, they get blown out of proportion and those become the normal trend of what interviews are supposed to be. Let's talk about a few myths that actually abound about interviews and how are we bringing all this information to you? We at Curate help candidates create amazing careers in business roles at India's top corporates. We as a team across recruiters have conducted and actually helped recruiters do more than a thousand plus interviews. So we know what we're talking about. Let's come to a few myths versus facts when it comes to interviews. <clears throat> the first one, right? A lot of the questions that you get asked in the interviews, right, are not direct questions where the answer is an absolute number or an absolute fact that someone is looking for. In most cases, when people are hiring you for a job, they're looking for problem solving skills. They're looking for the fact that can you think on your feet? They're looking for tangible skills rather than real answers. So the exercise that most people do that they try to seek out right answers or exact questions that people are asking in other interviews for the same company is a great strategy to begin with, but can't be your cornerstone to prepare for these interviews because the exact answer is not what the interviewer is looking for. They're also not looking for a copy of the answer that someone else gave. They're looking for a structured, genuine approach to a problem that they pose to you in an interview, whether it's a case study question, a question about your profile or anything else. Let's jump on to the next one, right? So, you know, the other, another sort of uh, interesting fact that links very, very closely to this, right? Is interviewers are trying to actually confuse you or take you down a wrong path, right? That could be farthest from the truth, right? Interviewers are looking to take the best candidates and get them on board for the job for the company, right? Nothing in the interview that goes on is personal. It's absolutely, absolutely professional. And they're just assessing you as a right fit for the company and for the role that they're bringing on board. Another myth that actually abounds very, very clearly in interviews, right? Is that, you know, your resume or the way you enter or the way you sit or the way you talk actually can give a lasting impression and in the first 30 seconds you're hired. Yes, first impressions do last and do create a massive impact, but are they the deciding factor or de deciding criteria in getting you a job? Not really. What really matters is <clears throat> the whole interview, right? And in most companies today, you actually go through multiple rounds of process, right? That one interview, that 130 second swagger that you might think that might have won over an interviewer, it actually wouldn't have, right? It might have just gone unnoticed. So. Pay attention to your overall uh, interview, to how you attend the, attempt the questions, to the rapport that you will with the interviewer, rather than being jazzy in your style, in your CV or anywhere else, right? Let's quickly jump to the next one, right? <clears throat> so what's, <clears throat> so what's more, most interesting is that these three tips that we talked about, right? Talk about the psyche of the interviewer. Let's jump to how, uh, you know, candidates think as well. Another big myth that comes across when actually interviews are talked about specifically, is that when you have to answer questions about yourself, you should exaggerate or you should actually talk about big numbers or big facts always, right? Actually being tempered and in the middle saying, I don't know, or I didn't do this completely is actually a very acceptable statement. Recruiters know the fact that you actually were part of a team in your previous organization or college or wherever you were last and you were working in a group. So it's a group effort, not an individual victory. And that's what they actually want you to achieve as well, right? A group victory, not an individual victory when you actually step into the job. So this is four, right? We're down to the last three. Let's quickly cover them up, right? <clears throat> Another massive myth around interviews that really abounds is right in the whole interview process, the way it works is right, that when you're done uh, with the interview, you should immediately start following up for feedback. Otherwise you don't get like a result, right? So that's another myth, right? Actually, recruiters are talking to many candidates at the same time and they will give you feedback on a relative level once everyone is interviewed, right? So it actually makes sense to lay off and cool off after the interview, wait and actually then and then actually uh, step up, right? Another quick doubt that comes, that myth that really abounds about interviews, right? Is that you actually have to answer in the positive for everything. So if an interview says, can you join tomorrow? Uh, can you join immediately uh, or you know is this salary range okay you don't have to negotiate you have to answer in the affirmative at the get-go nothing could be farther from the truth 
you can actually take your time to decide and actually convey these facts about when you'll join, what's your salary going to be, and all of that later in the day or later in the week as well, right? Just make sure you keep your line of communication open with the interviewer. And lastly, right, one of the biggest things that is a massive, massive myth and prevents many candidates from actually prevents many candidates from doing well is they actually think that going through a set list and going through a set set of answers is actually going to win them interviews. Memorizing answers or memorizing facts or memorizing keywords, etc. Right? That is what's what is going to clear the interview for them, right? People are looking for original thinkers, right? The idea is you are unique, right? Among the billions of people in this world, you are your personality, your skills are unique to you. And you have to bring that out in the interview. And that is what interviews are looking for, right? We at Curate, you know, keep discussing such amazing facts, such amazing tips collated from real experiences from candidates like you who are appearing for interviews in business roles across business development, partnership, marketing, operations and more. Uh, to actually never miss out, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and visit our community which is scholars.curate.in and never miss out on our events, quizzes and much, much more. For the moment, this is me, Ajay Sethi and Team Curate signing off. Thank you.